Hi, my name is Forrest, and for today's creature feature, I'm going to be introducing you to the Chilean rose hair tarantula. Now, this is not a true rose hair tarantula. She, you can see that rather than having red, rosy hairs all over her whole body, she only has a little metallic sheen right on the back of her carapace here. Now, it's been argued that there are actually two different species of tarantula, but at the moment they still remain one. Now, these guys make wonderful pets. They're really friendly, very docile, and they seem to not mind being handled all that much. Even though they may seem a little bit creepy, they're really quite awesome because they're quiet, they're clean, and they can be fed for a couple cents a week, really. They're hypoallergenic, they don't make noise, they like the night, they like being left alone. All in all, if you don't have much space or much of a budget, these can be the pet for you. Now, a lot of people think that if you hold a tarantula, it's going to bite you immediately, but that's really not true. In fact, biting is one of their last-ditch responses to danger. Their first and foremost is running away. Now, if that doesn't work, they will use all of these hairs on their backside, which are actually called urticating hairs, as a defense mechanism. They rub their back legs right against that uh, back abdomen part, and they will throw them then at anything that is attacking them. Now, for any of you who have ever had fiberglass in your hand, if you imagine that times 10, you have some small idea of what those hairs feel like. It's only if those hairs fail that they will actually resort to biting as a method of defense. So, I hope this has served to dispel some false beliefs about these wonderful creatures. And who knows, maybe you might say hi to a new friend soon. Thanks.